Hello dear children. So let us do question number 4, 5 and 6 of exercise 5.7. So let us begin with question number 4. A cricket player scores 48 runs per match. Estimate by rounding off to the nearest tens the number of runs he scores in 134 matches. So there is a cricket player. He scores 48 runs in every match. Now we have to round off. We have to estimate by rounding off to the nearest tens that the number of runs he scores in 134 matches. If in one match the score of a cricket player is given, so his score in 134 matches can be easily calculated by multiplying. But here we don't have to simply multiply we have to round off and then multiply okay so let us see how we can write the statement so we'll write runs scored by a cricket player in every match or you can say per match okay it is 48. Now, then we will write, therefore, the number of runs he scores in 134 matches is equals to 134 multiplied by 48. But we don't have to find the number of runs he scores in 134 matches. We have to find the estimated number of runs he scores. Okay. So, let us round off 134 to nearest tens. So, if we have to round off the tens place, we need to look at the number next to its right side. And if it is less than 5, so 3 will remain 3. Next number will become 0 and the previous number will remain same. So, 134 has been rounded to one. 30. Now let us round off 48. Now we have to round off the tens place. So we need to look at the number next to its right side. It is more than 5. So 4 will become 5 and the next number will become 0. So we can say therefore estimated runs he scores in 134 matches is equals to 130 multiply by 15. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0, 0. Let us put a cross here. 5, 0, 0, 0. 5, 3, 0, 15. 5 here and 1 will get carried over. 5, 1, 0, 5 plus 1 carry is 6. Now let us add the partial products. 0, 0, 5 and 6. So, this is the answer. Means, estimated runs he scores in 134 matches is 6500. So, this is how you can find the answer. Now, let us do the next question. Question number 5. Write a story for each of the following. It means 4 number statements are given to us and we need to write the statements for them. Okay, the story sums for them. So, the first one is 389 multiplied by 50. So, we can think that what we can write. So, uh, the first statement which we can frame or you can frame any statement according to you. So, let me write the price of one book is rupees 389. Then, find the total cost or you can say price of 50. 50 books. This is the one way in which you can write the story sum for the given multiplication number sentence. Now what we can write next? 1, 4, 2, 5 multiply by 12. So uh, we can write there are 1, 4, 2, 5 apples in a box. Okay. Then how? This is the first part which we have written for the first number. Now how many apples will be 
there in such 12 boxes this is how we can frame the statement first of all we have to write a sentence for the first number then for the second number there are one four two five apples in a box how many apples will be there in such 12 boxes now the easiest way of writing the number sentence is find the product product means multiply and then find the answer the answer of multiplication product of 7180 and 9 or you can say okay keep it like this only now there are many more ways in which you can frame the num uh, the word problems or you can say the statement sums the story sums this i have only just given you examples it's your choice how you can uh, how you think upon the given number sentences so you, so you can just frame any statement sums of your choice okay so let us move on to the next question next is question number six complete the story for each number sentence so the number sentence is 729 by 20 and the story for it is a basket contains 729 apples so the story for first number is written so we need to complete it okay so let us write the story for the second number how many apples will be there in 20 baskets this is how we can complete it whatever information is given about the first part you have to use the same information to know the information about the second part okay because about one part is given to you so about more than one part which is written in the second part that we need to find so let us do the second one 2470 multiply by 32 a truck carries 2470 kg wheat a truck carries 2470 kg wheat so how much wheat can 32 trucks carry or you can say how much wheat can be carried in 32 trucks it's your choice how you want to frame the number or you want to frame the given uh, statement sums for the given number sentences okay it's your choice what you want to write okay so i hope you would have understood all the four questions of exercise 5.7 which we have done today thank you mm -hmm.